I got my toolbox, I got my socket set, I got my jack, I got an extra distributor, I got trans fluid, I got oil. I could literally swap the transmission on this car on the side of the road. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we are headed to Grid Life Midwest Fest, something I've been wanting to go to for years, and today we are finally gonna do it. And not only are we going, but we are driving the EG. Threw some new speakers in it last night, so we'll be good for the drive. Kern Dog, I'm good. we're going to pick up Kern Dog right now, and then uh, we're hitting the road, boys. So guys, we are a little less than halfway there. We've driven like an hour and 20 minutes or so. Uh, we hit a lot of traffic to start the drive. We are at an oasis right now. Kearney and I both really had to use the restroom, and we just both grabbed some food. I got some Subway, Kern Dog got some Panda. It's really hard for me to film in the car, so I'm sorry I'm not like holding the camera and stuff, but uh, so far, so good. We're leaking trans fluid. Hopefully that doesn't bite us in the ass. I brought a bunch extra, so we'll top it up when we get there. Hopefully we make it. <laughs> Guys, good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is we made it to grid life. The EG made it to grid life. It's parked just outside. The bad news is that we are not at grid life. Uh, we pulled up to Grid Life. I sure we should have been filming. We weren't filming, so it all happened pretty fast. But we pulled up to Grid Life, and we got there at like 11:20 or so. And they said that they stopped letting people in at 11 o'clock. So we got shafted. Uh, that really sucks. We had to pay $200 for a hotel room. So that really, really sucks, boys. This has been an expensive video so far. So if you guys want to support the hustle, if you guys want to support what I do, uh, hit the link in the description down below for the merch. Pick up some merch, support the channel. Uh, obviously, you're not obligated to by any means, but if you do want to support and uh, support what I do, that's the best way to do so. Weird start to a vlog. Like, hello, good night. And then tomorrow's good morning. The hotel was pretty nice, actually. But uh, anyway, today we're just putting some E85 in her. That way it's good to go for when we have to drive back tomorrow. I'm excited. I'm really bummed about last night, but you know what? We made it and we're gonna be there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get in. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna set up a tent. We're gonna cook some breakfast. It's gonna be great. Thank you, sir. As I said in the intro, Grid Life Midwest Fest is an event that I've been wanting to attend for years. For the last three years, Grid Life has been on the same weekend as my girlfriend's birthday and she is my number one supporter. She's extremely patient with me when it comes to my YouTube channel and uh, <laughs> my, my car addiction. And uh, for the last three years, I've chosen to skip out on grid life to spend time with my girlfriend and be there with her on her special day. She would do the same for me, so I'm so happy to do the same for her. <laughs> This year, however, Grid Life Midwest Fest was taking place nowhere even close to Kearney's birthday. So it seems like a no-brainer to attend. Well, over the last few months, I've been working like an absolute madman to get the EG ready for an event you all saw in the last video. The event is called Auto Motion, and it takes place in the Wisconsin Dells. Grid Life Midwest Fest is scheduled to take place just two weeks after Auto Motion. And with the amount of stress that I put myself and Kearney through over the last few weeks. I didn't even want to bring up the idea of attending Grid Life Midwest Fest. We had such an amazing experience at Automotion. It was so much fun and it went absolutely perfectly that I was just grateful and happy that we got to have that experience together. And uh, I decided I wouldn't even mention the idea of attending Grid Life to Kearney because once again, I was just happy that Automotion was so much fun. Think of it as like a mental vacation. Her and I had both been at 100% mental capacity for months leading up to Automotion. And now that it's over, it just felt right to let us both rest for a little bit. Anyway, one week before Grid Life Midwest Fest is scheduled to take place, I get an Instagram DM from, from Kearney while I'm at work. She sent me a post from Grid Life's Instagram that mentioned that TJ Hunt would be attending and uh, I liked the message and continued on with my day at work. Then a few hours later, she sent me another Grid Life post that mentioned that Dustin Williams would be attending. I was starting to get the itch to like say something like, should we go, like push us to attend? Um, but I, I just didn't want to do that to her. I wanted to, again, just preserve, like just, just let us relax. I don't want to sacrifice that um, for, for an event. I just, I just wanted to, you know, be happy and enjoy our time. And so I, I just let it slide. I just let the message go and I liked it. And, and I was just, you know, 
it was just cool that she was sending that those messages to me in the first place. Then a few minutes later, I receive another message from Kearney. It's one of the coolest messages she's ever sent me. Uh, it just read, should we go? <laughs> now, TJ Hunt is one of the biggest influences for me starting my YouTube channel. Uh, he, he, you know, he's one of the people that when I, before I even thought about making a channel, I was watching him. And, uh, you know, he's been someone that I look to for motivation, you know, like his whole keep moving forward, bust your ass, like, like, you know, work hard, get the things you want to get. And so I started my channel and I've basically been doing that ever since I've just been busting my ass. And, and I just thought that it was cool that Kearney wanted to go and she knows how much it would mean to me to be there, you know, and, and if he's going to travel all the way, him and all those other YouTuber guys are going to travel all the way from California to come to grid life Midwest Midwest fest. Uh, I think we had to go. So I responded to Kearney and I said, are you sure? And she said, yes, let's do it. Uh, we don't end up meeting TJ Hunt or any other big YouTubers at the event, but we do meet a lot of you guys. So that was really cool uh, to, I don't know, maybe like, I think I ran into like 10 or more of you guys at the event, which was just mind blowing to me. And it was, it was super cool. Uh, so I love that. I love meeting you guys at events, but anyway, I'm ecstatic, but I'm also super stressed out again because not only do I have to make sure that EG is safe for another long road trip, but now I also have to pack, uh, pack the entire EG full of camping gear and make sure I have everything that we need. And I, I just know it's going to be so much work and I'm a little bit stressed out. Um, that week goes by in like an absolute blink of an eye. And here we are finally at grid life we made it safely as you saw in the intro we are finally at the fabled forza horizon in real life and i have to be honest guys i actually had a even better time at the event than i thought i was going to i'll film you taking it i ain't fucking eating that shit <laughs> hell no yes. hell no yes. what is that i'm just a cook, is that a man. hockey puck dude it's a hamburger yeah, puck. Five, bro. <laughs> that's a hamburger times, yeah. man <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy guys. <laughs> right off the bat, we ran into the guys from Rudd's Racing, and they invited us to camp with them in the paddock, which was actually way better than camping in general camping area. I heard that at night, the general camping area just doesn't really go as hard. And so, you know, I'm someone who, who you know, when I'm at a party, I like to party. And so I was super happy. Kearney, Kearney and I were both super happy to be invited to go camp in the paddock, be around all the race cars, camp next to race cars, meet race car guys, like all this stuff, dude. It's just super cool. So Kearney and I moved our stuff over to the area by Rudd's Racing. Uh, we watched some some racing, some drifting, some cars break down, you know, some people having issues, whatever. It was cool, super fun. <laughs> tire smoke. Kearney loved the tire smoke. She loved watching drifting. And uh, then nighttime was the EDM concert followed by a silent disco. You know, the, the thing where people are all wearing headphones and the DJ is blasting music straight into your ears. But if you take off the headphones, there's no music and all you hear is uh, like grunting and feet stomping. I honestly talked a lot of shit about it, but I actually might have had more fun at the silent disco than I did at the actual concert. Uh, so that was super fun. The next morning uh, was a slight hangover and more racing, watching racing. And uh, it, it wasn't a, it wasn't until about 1 p.m. that something like something actually magical happened. So DJ, the owner of Rudd's Racing, invited me to go for a ride along in his wife's uh, Civic Type R. If you guys remember last summer when I had my S2000, that was my first track experience and it was raining. I didn't even get to go fast or break hard or experience lateral Gs. Uh, now I was finally going to. This ride along was awesome. Got me hooked, absolutely loved it. Uh, absolutely thrashing on a machine, but with complete grace and control. As lame as it sounds, uh, it was intricate and beautiful for me to witness because I've never been in a track car going around a track as fast as possible and as calculated as possible. It was just super cool. And uh, I decided that I need that. <laughs> I need that for myself. I need a car to, to go out on the track and just absolutely rip it, turn in laps. Like it, it just sounds and, and seems like so much fun. And so, now I have to figure out my options. 
do I take the EG? Do I set up the EG for road racing? That would be kind of fun, but the only problem is that car makes like almost 400 horsepower and I have very little, I have no real track experience. So that'd be pretty dangerous for me to hop out there. I don't think I'd even be able to push it nearly close to its limit. And uh, even if I did, I think it'd be pretty dangerous for me to do so. So that's an option, but the only way I can make that work is if I converted it back to NA before every time I took it to the track, which I could do, I could do that. It's a lot of work, but I could do that. Um, or option two is to put a bunch of time, money, uh, work and energy into my black EK coupe that I have back at home. Uh, stick shift D series, like it would be slow, but it would still be super fun to learn on. Uh, I could I could set that car up, but it is kind of rusty and it would take probably months, uh, months of work to get that car ready for the track. Uh, Honda Meet 2022 is coming up here at Gingerman Raceway in uh, July, first weekend of July, I believe it's like the seventh and eighth or something like that. And I want to, after, after going for this ride along, I want to be in my own car for Honda Meet in July. That's pretty short notice. That's gonna be pretty challenging to get a car ready to go by then. I have one more side option. One more like bonus option here. I could sell the black EK Coupe and search for something that is a little bit better of a starting point. Maybe something that has a little bit high, higher of a horsepower and a motor. Uh, maybe something that isn't rusty. Maybe something that already has some suspension mods. Maybe something uh, that already has some driver mods, you know, that are like, you know, interior mods that, that help driving. And that pretty much leads us into the next video. Uh, you guys should be getting pretty excited because I actually did pick up a very special car. Uh, I, I picked up a car specifically for Honda Meet and, and to learn track driving and to learn how to actually drive. Um, it's a very special car, guys. It's the first car that I've acquired since I bought the EG, where the second I saw it with my eyes in person, I knew it was it was a special car. I knew it was the car that that was going to take me places. I knew it was the car that, you know, I need on the channel and that I need to grow in this scene. So I'm so excited to show you guys this new car. It's freaking awesome. I've already been driving it around for a day or two. You're gonna see it later this week. This video is going up on a Tuesday. Uh, the car reveal video will be going up on Thursday. So it's only two days away and uh, you guys should be super excited because I am pumped to show you guys this car. You are going to absolutely love it. Please like the video, please subscribe and check the link in the description down below uh, to the merch website, www.blownmotorclub.com. It is the best way to support my hustle. And guys, I'm telling you right now, I flew to pick up this new car and drove it home 10 hours by myself. So I am absolutely hustling and uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys liking, subscribing, commenting, coming up to me when you see me at events, saying hi. I absolutely appreciate that so much. So thank you guys. And as I always say, let's remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain our goals. I'm pretty beat. That was an extremely fun weekend. And I mean, even with everything happening, how it did on Friday, it still was such a blast. And I'm so grateful that the Rudd's Racing guys invited us to camp with them because we would have had fun camping on our own for sure, but it was a lot of fun being able to camp with uh, a good group of people and uh, friends, you know, and have, have some fun. So that was, that was awesome. Shout out to them. Shout out to DJ for taking me for a ride along this morning. That was super fun. I'm really excited for the future here, boys. We got a lot of really fun stuff planned and coming up. And I know, again, people say that all the time, but I really do. And uh, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for the constant support. I know this video is a little bit off topic, a little bit off brand for what I normally post, but uh, I think it's a very important video because this is a turning point for me, I think. This is a really cool time because yes, I love the EG. The EG is always, always, always gonna be number one. I will say, 
I'm very excited to start a new project and to be doing something uh, different than what I normally do. Pretty excited about it. So uh, I guess it's not too different, but it's gonna be uh, still a Honda. I'm still gonna be doing a Honda, uh, but it is time for another project. I think I'm gonna sell this one. I think I'm gonna sell this one and uh, find a different one, start there. But that's all gonna be another video. You guys will see. I'm really excited, you guys should be too. That's all I have for today. I know, I'm sorry, I sound so tired. I am, uh, but as I always say, boys, uh, well, first off, subscribe, please. I really appreciate it. Um, very small portion of you guys are actually subscribed, so that would be awesome if you just click that button. It helps me out a lot. Leave a like on the video, and as I always say, boys, let's remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain our goals. Bye.